performing in the circus as a young child, to flying high with Cirque du Soleil, to choreographer and director extraordinaire, we talk with Gypsy Snyder about her company Seven Fingers, her shows for the Queen, and her latest venture, Pippin. I heard you were enlisted in the circus at age four. Yeah. What are you doing at age four in the circus? Oh my goodness. Uh, I was basically being thrown around by my dad. Okay. <laughs> uh, my parents were circus performers, um, comedic jugglers actually. You know, I think the only real different dynamic that you'll find between a, a circus performing child and a regular child is that you're playing with your parents, um, but the relationship also becomes professional. It wasn't about you know, you have to do this, you have to do your homework, you have to clean your room. You have to do this because the show must go on. So you, um, at some point, left the family circus and then went on to Cirque du Soleil? Yeah, you know, we had traditional circus prior to the 70s. There were animals and sequins and sawdust and really, um, you know, the incredible history of the Ringling Brothers. So I grew up in a world where traditional circus was very dominant. And then in the 70s, there was a lot more of a a musical and, and story-like through line. Consequently, my brother and I really got interested in theater. Uh, and then, so the Sade came to the States. And they gave um, you an offer you couldn't refuse. Well, and I sat in a rehearsal. This was okay. the funniest thing, is I had friends who were performing in the company. It was opening in Los Angeles. And I watched the first run through. And I sat and I just started weeping. I just really? was crying uncontrollably, seeing what I thought could never exist other than in my dreams of what circus could be. Wow. It's a very special form of, of performance. For me, circus is a, a way of performing with infinite possibilities. So what I've been doing with my company has really been to, to use circus as a, as a real theatrical tool mm -hmm. to, to really uh, bring an idea to the audience. So you actually had to put together a show for Queen Elizabeth and then later yeah. Will and, uh, what's her name? William <laughs> and Kate. <laughs> Prince William and Kate. Yes. That's got to be a pretty cool experience. Yeah, it's, it's so strange because we're such a small company in mm -hmm. so many ways. And one day we get a call from the Royal Palace in England saying we're putting together the Royal, the Royal Variety performance, which they do every year. And we were on after Lady Gaga, before Michael Buble. And just to be backstage watching the TV monitor sitting between Michael Buble and Hannah Montana, <laughs> going like, okay, we're on next. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. And then consequently, the next year, William and Kate were doing their tour of Canada, uh, part of the okay. Commonwealth. And they were sitting front row, mm -hmm. and we performed three different acts all choreo that I choreographed mm -hmm. specially for them. So that was the last two years, but that was right before opening Traces in New York City. Now Traces, that, that was um, Time Magazine's, one of Time Magazine's 10 best shows. Yes. That's pretty amazing. For, yeah, it was. On or off Broadway, doesn't just 10, 10 best shows. 10 best shows in, in, the United States. in the United States. Traces is a really incredible phenomenon. There's seven people on stage, that's it. F uh, six guys, one girl, mm -hmm. for an hour and a half, basically just telling life stories, then using the acrobatics to go through their emotional stories between each other. The only plot within the story is that you feel as though the clock is ticking, that at any day, life on earth for these seven people could end. And actually you realize that when tragedy strikes, really the only way to continue is to be creative, to be positive, to, to think beyond the tragedy and to, to find some proactive way to get out of it. The Pippin's running right now yeah. at the ART. Yes. Diane Paulus, the director, saw that this play within a play is led by a group of players, mm -hmm. is how it's written. And that why could this group of players not be a circus troupe? And that this whole idea of ex an extraordinary life or taking risks and living a life that is amazing. Why could that not be Pippin wanting to run away and join the circus? Well, it's super nice talking to you nice and, to talk and to meeting you, you and uh, I can't wait to see the show. I hope you enjoy it.